Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Eileen with Unique Gifts and Decor by Lady Di. You guys, it's Columbus Day. Happy Monday to everyone. I'm hoping you guys enjoyed your day. Most businesses were closed today, federal holiday. Uh, banks were closed, credit unions, all that good stuff were closed today. Uh, but some people had to go to work. I know schools was out today, but some people had to go to work today. Um, other, other of us had long weekends, so I am um, <laughs> thankful for that, even though I didn't know it was Columbus Day until I watched the news this morning. So, nevertheless, you guys, I ain't complaining because it was a beautiful day. Weather-wise, you guys know, you know I got to give you a weather report. Beautiful day here in North Carolina. Um, a little breezy here and there. It was very cold this morning. Um, when I did look out the window, there was frost on the windows this morning, and it's fall, so it's going to happen, but throughout the day, it did warm up, so, you know, that's a good thing there, but you guys, I want to come in today to show you guys another concept. I'm using these um, totes, baskets, whatever you want to call it, that we got from the Family Dollar um, this summer maybe i think it was in the summer that we got first part of the summer probably i think that's when family dollar had that big sale where most of the totes were 50 cents some of them was a dollar it just depends on which um item that you were uh looking to purchase the prices were a little different um here in north carolina i know the prices were from 50 cent up to a dollar maybe dollar 52 dollars just depends in other areas i saw people were posting the prices was a little different, but I guess like Dollar General, your miles may vary, maybe the same way with the family dollar. But you guys, I wanted to show you guys, because I got a lot of these. These came in like three or four different sizes. Um, I, I did do some small ones, and then I think this is the medium, and I do have a large, and I think there's a big extra large one too um, that's still upstairs. So I still have a few left. Um, but I kind of wanted to get these out of the way. I've already done some concepts. If y'all want to go back to some of my previous videos and see. I think it's during Christmas. When I was doing Christmas in July, I did use a lot of these in my baskets. So I've got a lot of baskets already done for Christmas because I did the series in Christmas in July. Um, so I'm still a little ahead of the game um, uh, with my baskets. I did do fall because I do have a, an event. Oh, my ear itching, y'all. Um in a couple of weeks so I, pre I think i'm pretty good with the fall um my holiday event is the weekend before thanksgiving so i'm gonna bring out my christmas there as well as some of the ones that i have for the fall they can roll into christmas and then the fall the christmas ones even though some of them i don't i don't think i use any christmas ribbon on any of those you guys they can roll into um, Valentine's Day, but I am going to do some more for Christmas. I think I got a lot of the small concepts that's already done, but I'm trying to look and do some bigger ones as well. Um, so that's probably where I can use my Christmas ribbon and stuff like that, which I try not to go all the way with one holiday because I want them to be able to roll over or I don't have to break them down. If they don't sell, I don't have to break them down and, you know, we do a lot of this and this and that. But it's either um, taking a ribbon off and putting a new ribbon on. That should be no problem. If your concept is just kind of a basic for any holiday. Because that's a tip there. So anyway, you guys, I want to show y'all what I did here. I did pack this with some um, newspaper. I do have a lot of newspaper. And I do have that contract paper as well. So I'm just kind of mixing it up here. But I've got my newspaper in here. And I end up putting some tissue paper on top here. Now, these are the items that I'm going to use here. Um, we got these cutting boards. I'm not sure if you all remember these. We got these from the Dollar Tree in the, I think they were $3. Um, so, we're going to use one of these here. So, I'm just going to slip this down in here. And hopefully, it'll stay the way I want it. And also, I've got one of these um, signs. I think I got this from the Dollar Tree, if I'm not mistaken. Let me say out here. I think it doesn't say. So I think it was Dollar Tree, you guys, that, that they had these. So I'm just going to lay this to the side here. Um, let's see. I ended up now, I, this is not a floor arrangement, but I ended up putting some flowers together. 
um, and then I wrapped them around this, um, <laughs> it's a Christmas tree branch that I, you can get at the Dollar Tree, but I needed something to wrap around here, um, and I ended up just making something just to kind of stick here to give it a little color here. So we're just going to stick this right down in here as well, so you all can, let me move this around here so you all can see what I'm doing here. So that's how it looks so far here. Um, got a pot holder, you guys. Um, I think these were at the Dollar Tree. So we're going to lay that right there in front of there. Um, these two-piece uh, scented sachet pumpkin spice flavor. Um, I think this was at the Dollar Tree. Um, and what I did, I'm going to show you all a trick on this. Um, I got these labels from uh, Timu the other day. They came in. It says thank you on here. They're really tiny, you guys. I don't. I, you probably can't see it that well on the camera. I thought they were bigger because I was going to put them on my baskets, but they're really tiny. So what I did, I'm going to use these to cover that price tag up, okay, from the Dollar General. Instead of me trying to peel it off and all that, going through all that, I'm going to use that, um, I'm use these uh, round thank you uh, stickers on here. So we're going to just lay that right here inside that little pocket there. Um, I've got a spoon and I've got a spatula. The wooden ones too. We're just gonna kind of lay these inside that. Wait, let me do this this way. So let me put something at the bottom of that pouch so it will stay up. And let me go get some tissue paper. You guys will be right back. Here. I have some right here. And what I'm doing, I'm just going to show you guys what I'm doing right quick. Um, because I want my items to stand up a little bit here, I just put some tissue paper in the bottom of my pot holder. And this is the one that's got a pocket. And once I do that, this will stick up a little higher. Okay, easy trick. Even if you want to put your utensils in here, your wooden utensils, you can do that. So they can slide down in there. Which it looks like this, you guys. And we're going to lay that right there. So this is how it's looking so far here. It's a little crooked there. Okay, so I've got this picture frame set that I got from the family dollar it came in three different colors um it came in the turquoise and gray it came in the rose and gold and this is the black and gold so we're just going to add this right here i have uh this two-piece baking set that we got from the harvest sale from the dollar general last year i had a couple left so i'm just going to put that inside here it's a baking dish, and it has the silicone spatula that goes with it. I don't know if y'all can see that very well right there. So, um, these uh, flower sacks, we got these from the Family Dollar as well last year. I got a bunch of those. I gave away a lot, but I still kept a few for myself because you just never know um, when you're going to use it or what you're going to need it for. So, I'm just going to lay this right here. And what I want to do, I really want to, I don't like that hanging over like that, but it, I guess it might be okay. It's kind of a little wrinkled. I don't like it to be wrinkled, but okay. So let's see what next I got. I've got this candle. Well, let, me, let me first. I'm going to use some of this um, natural shred um, that you can get from uh, World Market. It comes in a big bag, and it's like $6.99 down here in North Carolina. Um, I'm not sure how much it costs in other areas, but it does uh, make a difference with the natural shred uh, than the um, paper shred that we usually get from 
the Dollar um, Tree. So this candle, you guys, this is the Spring Blossom Scented Candle. We got these from the Dollar General. Um, they were the purple dot. Um, I had this for a while. Um, I didn't see none of these in the purple dot sale that just we just got out of. Because um, y'all know I got a lot of candles and um, you can never have enough candles in my mind, okay? So um, this is how this is looking so far, you guys. So let me know what you think about that. Um, I do have some measuring cups. Um, I'm not sure if I got these from the Dollar General or the Dollar Tree. But we're going to just put those in there as a filler to fill in the space there a little bit there. I've got some washcloths that I got from the Dollar um, Tree the other day. It was five to a set. So I ended up just definitely um, kind of doing a little fold here. And I'm just going to put a little ribbon around them. And we're just going to kind of lay these three. Or might be just two that I need. Let's see how that's going to go. Just trying to fill in some space here. Um, I don't want to use any roses that I usually embellish with my from Timu. Because I have these flowers here. So you don't want to overload it with a lot of flowers if you don't have to. Um, it's kind of roadkill if you ask me. <laughs> so let me, let me, let me make it do what I want it to do right here. I kind of want it to look like a fan on this side. So you guys, this is the finished product here. Very easy to put together, as you all can see. Now I am going to fill in back here with some um, tissue paper. And then I'm going to add some more shred to the back there as well. And this shred is a really kind of be a little messy, you guys. It can be. But I try to clean up as I go so I won't have to be worrying about that down the road. So, you guys, this is the finished product. What you think? Um, very easy concept to put together. Um, this can be a home gift um, for someone who's, work, who's um, just moving to their home, maybe, or, you know, just want to spruce up their home for the holidays with some new items. But um, very easy concept to use these wicker baskets with. So you guys, um, I did do a bow. I'm not going to wrap it because I need to do a short. I think YouTube is doing something. I think they're going to extend um, the time on the shorts. So I, I have uploaded three shorts and it didn't it didn't register on my phone. So I I know they said on the 15th or I think it's the 15th that they're going to make some changes to doing the shorts. So maybe that's why mine can't upload right now. But I definitely don't want to wrap it until after I do my shorts. But um, I probably will come back on and show y'all guys later how I wrap this. But this is the bow that I made for this basket here. Um, it's kind of uh, this ribbon that I got. Um, a years ago from Sam's, uh, the Christmas ribbon, which it does sort of go with Christmas and sometimes it, it, it don't have to. <laughs> I just like ribbon, you guys. So what I'm going to do is just kind of add that to the mix here. And this is my um, gift that I just designed with you guys. So um, if you do all, if you all do have some of these baskets this is just an idea um that you can do a home gift with this or i have done some using um spa baskets so um check out some of my previous videos where i showed you guys how to do that so thank you for watching this video let me know what you think about this concept and how much you all think i should charge for this one i'm gonna let you i'm letting you guys price my items at this point right now um so let me know, first of all, if you got any of these baskets. Have you used any of these? And if not, is this a good concept, a very easy concept that you think that you can, um, if you have the items or something similar, that you can put together uh, to make this basket? As you all can see, it did not take me long to make this. Um, it's just gathering all your um, 
products together. And I guess that's easier for me. And I hope it is for you all too. Um, go in your stockpile and see what you can items you can put together color wise or however you want to do it. Um, and then once you go from there, you have all your items close by and then you just can assemble them and keep it going. If you are in a time crunch on things, that's the best way that I think that you can do it. Or if you can just put the things in the basket, if you want to do four or five at a time, get your um, containers together and just put the items in there through your stockpile and work on them, you know, here and there. But I just like to have everything, you know, together. If I have to go back and get something to add or whatever, it's okay. One item or here or there or one item don't work, switch it out or whatever. But me just having my basket and I keep going back and forth upstairs in the garage and all this trying to get stuff, um, um, that, that's just too much <laughs> for me, okay? Everybody designs different, but, you know, if I can see everything in one place, then it's easier for me to design it. So thank you for watching this video, you guys. Please like, share, comment. Let me know what you think about it. To the next video, you guys definitely be blessed and enjoy your evening. Bye-bye.